Did you ever think about why I chose the name Prometheus? He challenged the omnipotence of the gods. You see, because like you, they play judge, jury, and executioner. But Prometheus took away their power. The people closest to you will always pay the most for their sins. You are paying for your fathers. Who will pay for yours? Oliver's gonna come for us. Yeah, I'm counting on it, sis. I need your help. My past is coming back to haunt me. Hello, Oliver. Welcome back to purgatory. <laughs> Sabotage the plane. We can't get off the island. There's an Argus supply ship on the eastern shore. That's on the other side of the island. Slade knows where it is. Go now. Hey. Hey, Oliver says there's a boat on the eastern shore. You lot won't make it in time. I'll take my own chances. William's younger than you were, so he's going to be fine. Yeah. What are you saying? I have to find William. Samantha! Samantha! Because it's going to be lonely without Mom. Then for the city. No, wait, wait. It was just a dream. It's real. It's what happened. Where do you think the bad man is? Here. I got it from here. in two worlds. We can only do that for so long. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Arrow Season 6 and today we're going to be breaking down the trailer that you just watched which was released at San Diego Comic Con last week so sorry for the delay I'm trying to get through all these trailer breakdowns first so today I'm hoping to get the Legends one in or the Justice League one in Arrow and something else today if I have the time I'm sorry if it's only one but it would definitely be Arrow on the 25th which is today and so yesterday I did the Flash and Supergirl and the next day is going to be like Krypton and then I'm going to start doing more videos regarding the teasers that have come out like regarding the villain save for the Flash the elongated man coming to the Flash maybe some Deathstroke stuff for Arrow, Legends stuff, and obviously some Supergirl stuff because they have been a lot of announcements like Jon Jones' dad is coming, mon is coming back 100%, and just some other stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to get to those after the trailer breakdown. So yeah, this is my trailer breakdown for Arrow. So yeah, let's get right into this. So the Arrow trailer, because I'm a graphic design student, I sort of pay attention to how the trailers are constructed. I wasn't too impressed with the Arrow trailer, even though it was kind of exciting. I felt Felt like the first part was crafted well but the second part wasn't very well crafted with all the new footage I don't think it boded well together but I'll talk more about that later so the first part for like the first minute and a half this is a bit longer trailer because it went into detail with the Prometheus arc and how it's going to lead on to season six and what is going to happen from there you get to see a lot of the season finale and some things in season five to do with Prometheus at the start and so yeah there's a few different shots like with Deathstroke and then we go on to after the island so this is obviously after 
after they've escaped Lian Yu after the explosion, it does seem like everyone has survived apart from like maybe one or two people and it's kind of crazy. You would think more would die or get severely injured, which I'm hoping is the way they just resolve it. They just say, oh, these people have been severely injured and then go visit them in hospital or something. So if they're not willing to kill off so many characters. So we get to see William and Oliver's like, who is the real villain? And William's points and we suppose it's pointing at Oliver because maybe oh he didn't tell him he was his dad or that his mum perhaps died because from this trailer I'm inferring that that William's mum has been killed due to the fact that Oliver is looking after William yeah that's my guess as to her whereabouts and it does seem like he's thinking that Oliver's the villain even though Later we get to see some shots of him being quite peaceful rather than being sort of scared of him. So I don't know. But then we get to see a few green arrow shots and it's very hard to see because most of arrow is recorded at night. And I do really like these shots but it's really hard to see in these split second trailer shots when they're really dark because you can't really tell if this person that they're fighting is someone we've seen in the past or if it's someone new so it's really hard and then we get our first look at black siren going into season six because she's a series regular katie cassidy is back so i'm sure all of you laurel lance fans are very happy so maybe they might go into the depths about black siren her history on earth too maybe we get some flashbacks to that i'm totally down for that i want to see what oliver's like on earth too and before he obviously died on the boat because robert was the one that came back in earth too so it would be really interesting to see all these different dynamics and I do want her to go on a redemption arc but I don't think it should be until like the end of this season due to the fact that we've got Diana Drake and she is a flipping badass so I really like Diana Drake and I don't want the Black Siren to take anything away from Diana Drake so we get to see a awesome fight scene between the two Black Canaries so one Black Siren and obviously Diana Drake being the new Black Canary and I must say, how can anyone not like this suit? This suit is freaking awesome. And then in the next shot, we get to see our first look at Deathstroke after the island because this is actually a shot on the island if you don't recognize it because it's in pitch black and there's sort of fires around. So I can infer from this that this is after the explosion and Oliver's searching with William because in a later shot, we see William again on this exact same spot. So we get to see that Deathstroke has survived and for some reason, Oliver has a haircut by the time he's got to the island. I, I think that's just a continuity error because Obviously, he's had a haircut over the high eight, so yeah, but that's just a, a small error. You know, we'll move on from that. And then we get to see the money shot of the trailer when he flies down on his rope and he sort of flips and lands. And then we get to see his face. And yeah, that's just a pretty cool shot. And then we get to see Deathstroke. You know, everyone wants to see Deathstroke in the trailer, considering he's like one of the best received villains in the Arrowverse. And he is confirmed for season six for a two-part episode, and we were gonna see some things to do with his origin, and maybe we will get to see his son. So moving on, we get to see another shot of Black Canary suit a bit better. And then one of the last shots, which is kind of interesting, is Oliver is in the room with William and William's on the bed. And this is what I'm saying. He looks kind of relaxed, even though he pointed to Oliver, which I'm guessing to say who the villain is, but he's just casually reading a book. So I'm not too sure about this, but it does seem like Oliver is going to be doing a lot of parenting during the season. And I'm not sure if I'm happy about that, because because I don't think Oliver is socially ready for that. He's barely a human, if you understand. I don't know. But the final shot of the trailer that I have taken into account is the shot between Slade and Oliver and they're shaking hands in a hospital. So as you can see, there is a patient because we can see the lines jittering up and down. The patient is alive. So I'm guessing it is after the aftermath of the island. They've come back to Star City together and we get to see someone in that bed who has been injured. So it's going to be really interesting seeing Deathstroke Arrow relationship. How are they going to be? Are they going to be friends again? Are they going to be enemies? It doesn't seem like he's going to be a villain. It seems like he's going to be more of an anti-hero. So, so far from the confirmations regarding villain wise apparently it's going to be a team up group of baddies this season and apparently it consists of 
Anatoly, and another character which I'm not 100% on, and also Richard Dragon, who is like one of the top picks for the Arrow Season 6 Big Bad. A lot of people really wanted him and thought he would go really well with the show, so I don't know much about him, but I'm excited to see this sort of different way. I was kind of upset that there's no female villain like Lady Shiva, I was kind of hoping for that, because we've seen a team of group of baddies like this on Legends, and I was like, eh. But we'll see how it goes. So anyway guys, that's all I've got for you guys today. I might have another video up later if I have time. Sorry if I don't, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Shut